Hello, word scientists. It's Rebecca here, here to study some words with you. And I hear that some of you may have been studying the water cycle recently and interested in some words that have to do with the water cycle. So I've got an image here for us, and there are some really great words and long words that explain different portions of the water cycle. I heard some people were asking about evaporation and condensation and precipitation and wondering about all of these words together. Noticing that they all seem to have something shared between them. So what is it? What do those words have in common? What do you think? One of those things is that they do all have to do with water somehow. They're all describing something to do with water in some part of the water cycle. And they all have this ation at the end, this A-T-I-O-N. So what is that? Is that the base? Well, let's take a look. First, let's remember what we do when we study a word. And the first thing that we always do is think about the meaning of a word. What does it mean? We know that the base holds the meaning and the meaning is the key to unlocking the structure of the word. So we first consider the meaning and then we look at the structure. Can we find any prefixes or suffixes? Are there any other words that are related that might help us understand? And then finally, we look at the different graphemes that spell the word and maybe some marker letters. Let's look at evaporation. When we think about what does evaporation mean, we might think about water that is evaporating and you can't really see it happening, but you see when it has evaporated that there's less water than there was before. And we can know when it's a warm day, the water might evaporate. Okay, so now we've got a few words here, but even inside evaporate, there's something else. V-A-P-O-R, that is the base that's holding the meaning because actually V-A-P-O-R is also the word vapor just like in water vapor. And V-A-P-O-R um, works together with the E, which means out and away from. So it's pulling vapor out from maybe that pool of water and up back into the air, evaporate. That's what evaporating is. So this V-A-P-O-R is, a, is a, <clears throat> a word that means vapor, it has to do with this idea of steam. And here's our structure of evaporate. Now we know there's an A-T-E suffix. Okay, so how could we now build evaporation? We were wondering about this Asian. Well, I know some people have heard of a shun type of feeling, a pronunciation, and they think about T, I, O, and N working together. So let's try that out. If we add this T, I, O, N to the end of evaporate, we get, oh, wait. Oh no, evaporation. That's that is not evaporation. There's too many letters there at the end. That that just didn't work. Hmm. Well, it can't be T I O N. So let's try something else. Okay, let's try again. We have A T E. What if we just used an I O N? Now something interesting is here because I O N begins with a vowel, and look what comes before that single final non-syllabic E, you know what happens. That E is gonna get replaced. So let's see if we can spell out this word sum. Remember when we see that E, we say replace the E. We're gonna, we're gonna do it together, so get ready. And we're gonna spell it out, so get your spelling ready. Here we go, ready and E, V, A, P, O, R, A, T, replace the E, I, O, N, Evaporation, it worked. So it turns out that A-T-E and I-O-N, the A-T-I-O-N, that A-T-I-O-N is actually two suffixes working together. A-T replaced the E and I-O-N. And we see this in a lot of words. What about those other words we were wondering about? Condensation, precipitation, well, let's take a look. Okay, so condensation, what does that mean? We have our picture here of the cloud. When things are gonna come together, they condense. And 
there's something inside condense even. D-E-N-S-E -E is the word dense. And when something is dense, it's really thick. And that C-O-N, which is a prefix here, does mean with or together. So when something is condensing, it's coming together and getting thicker, just like when water vapor is forming those clouds. Okay, so we have a structure here at the bottom. Oh, and look at this. We have two single final non-syllabic E's that are getting replaced. So <clears throat> get ready. We're gonna announce this word out loud again, okay? Three, two, one. C-O-N-D-E-N-S, replace the E, A-T, replace the E, I-O-N, condensation. Okay, that works. So now we have two. How about precipitation? Now, uh, another word that's related to this is precipitate. When it's going to rain, right, say it will precipitate. And in fact, there was also a word, I didn't know this was a word, condensate. Um, I didn't think that was a word because there isn't always a relative that has the A-T-E, but I looked it up in the dictionary and condensate, a lot of ways to pronounce it is actually the water that has come together. Now precipitate is an action, it's raining. So it will precipitate, precipitation. Okay, let's check the joins down here. Oh, we have that I-O-N. We've got a single final non-syllabic E. What are we gonna do? Replace the E is rewritten as, get ready, let's announce this long word together. And P-R-E-C-I-P-I-T-A-T, -E replace the E, I-O-N. Whew, it's a little fast, but I bet you can do it. Um, precipitation, that has an interesting story. I won't tell you the whole thing here, but it does have to do with falling, like from your head, precipitation. Phew, okay, well, we got through those words and we saw this A-T-I-O-N working together. Oh, but I heard some people actually had some other words that they were interested in, in other parts of the water cycle. Hmm, transpiration. Hmm, that's an interesting one. Sublimation. I did not know anything about sublimation until I got a question about it and I had to watch some videos and read and learn about what it was. Now, we've already looked at a lot of words today, so we're not gonna go into these right now, but I encourage you to look up, maybe with your parents, one of our favorite places to go, the online etymology dictionary at Etym Online. Put these words inside there. They both have some pretty interesting word histories, so I encourage you to look them up, find out something about them and let me know. Okay, I hope that this has been helpful today. We now know this A-T-E-I-O-N. These suffixes work together in a lot of words and they make nouns that explain a process of something. So all of these things are explaining parts of the water cycle and how these things work. That's the job of those suffixes and the base holds the meaning of exactly what's going on. So enjoy looking for more words and uh, let me know what you find out and I'll see you next time.